Hey internet, for this video I'm going to show you how to turn an old unused cell phone or tablet into the ultimate dedicated car GPS. In my opinion, this is way better than those standalone GPS you buy for 100 something dollars because the cost is nearly free since the phone likely uses one you already own. Okay, to make all this work, your phone needs to be rooted. So if the phone you want to turn into a dedicated GPS is not rooted, find a YouTube video to root it then come back to this video. To be able to understand what I'm trying to accomplish, you need to watch the entire video from start to finish. Alright, with a rooted phone, you are going to need a task management app. Many people recommend Tasker as a task management app. I have it myself, however, for this video I will download Automate It, as it is much easier to use. Let's begin. Install Automate It. Now let's install an offline GPS app. I'm going to install Sigic as it's the offline GPS I like to use. I'll let these apps finish downloading. Okay, they're done installing. I'll start up Sigic. I'm going to just skip through this part since I'm downloading maps. Depending on your internet connection, map downloads could take a day. Okay, I pretty much left the phone downloading for two days and it's done. So, Sigic GPS is set. Now let's set up Automate It. This is the part where root access is required to proceed. Press Grant to allow automated super user access. Automated should ask for a reboot after giving it root access. Press Yes. Let the phone reboot. Okay, open Automated again. Press Rules. Disable all the default active rules. Alright, we are going to create 5 rules now that pretty much set your phone in such a way that whenever it's plugged into the car charging port, the phone will start the GPS app and whenever power is cut from the USB, your phone will automatically shut down. Press the plus button on the top to add a rule. For the trigger, press battery level trigger. Press below. Enter 35. Next. For the action, press composite action. Note, composite actions are only available in the pro automated version. If you're using the free version, skip this rule entirely. This is just to prevent your phone from losing battery while the GPS is running. Press the circle plus button on the right. Add notification action. For notification title, enter low battery and notification text 35% battery. Press OK. Press the circle plus icon for the next action. Press set screen brightness action. Put it at a low percent to conserve battery. Press OK. Press circle plus for the next action. Press set screen timeout. Mm -hmm. 
set it to 15 seconds, press OK, press Next, enter the rule name Conserve Battery, have it set default and always active. Press the top right disk icon to save. Okay, the next four rules are critical for the cell phone to work like a real dedicated card GPS. Press the top plus button to add a rule. Press battery level. Set it to below and enter 40%. For the action, press shut down device. Enter the rule name battery low shutdown. Press delayed execution for 15 minutes. This makes it so if your battery gets too low, the phone shuts down automatically. Make sure default and always active is checked. Save the rule. Press plus on the top to add another rule. This is one of the more important rules. Search for the trigger, power disconnected trigger. For action, search for shutdown device action. Name the rule Power Disconnected Shutdown. Default with delayed execution, 20 seconds. Always active. Check Cancel Delayed Execution by Trigger. Press the clock thing on the right. Select Power Connected Trigger. What this rule does is whenever power is cut from the USB cable, the phone shuts down in 20 seconds. That would happen when you turn your car off. However, within that 20 seconds, if power is fed back to the USB cable, it cancels the shutdown. This makes it so the phone won't reboot right away if you just shut off your car and then quickly turn it back on for whatever reason. Okay, now let's add another important rule. Press the top circle plus. This rule will act as a backup shutdown trigger for situations that the previous rule may miss. I will explain after we create this rule. Search for the trigger, screen off, and select it. For action, select shutdown device. Name the rule Screen Off Shutdown. Check Delayed Execution, 1 minute. Check Cancel Delayed Execution by Trigger. Press the clock thing on the right. Select the trigger Composite OR. Press the top circle plus. Select screen on trigger. Press the top circle plus. Select power connected trigger. Press Next. Make sure Delayed Execution and Always Active is checked. The default 1 minute delayed execution should be enough. Save the rule. In case Automated has a delayed startup and you immediately shut off the car while the phone is still booting, 
the startup delay will cause Automated to miss the power cut shutdown trigger. This rule gives Automated a secondary condition to shut down the phone, and is targeted for those situations where you just momentarily start your car and immediately turn it off. Now let's add the final rule. Press Composite and Trigger. Press the circle plus add button. Search for the boot trigger. Press the circle plus add button. Search for the external power connected trigger. Press next. For the action, select start application. Press the search icon on the right. Choose Psygeek Navigation or whichever navigation app you want to use. Press Next. For the rule name, call it Psygeek Navigation Start. Default and Always Active. Save the rule. This makes the Psygeek Navigation app automatically start after the phone boots. So the five rules are set. These five rules ensures that the phone stays on if there's power fed through the USB cable and the phone powers off when the power is cut from the USB cable. Now the next step is to set up your Android device or phone so that it automatically turns on when power is fed through the USB cable. Go to Settings. Developer Options. If you don't have Developer Options enabled, just go to About Phone and tap Build Number till it's enabled. But since your phone is likely rooted, Developer Options should already be enabled. Make sure USB Debugging is enabled. Since I'm assuming you're rooted, it should already be on. Okay, shut down the device. Make sure the USB cable is plugged in. Enter fast boot mode. For this device, a Google Nexus 6, it's holding power, volume up, and volume down buttons. Your device may use a different method to get into fast boot mode. Make sure the USB is connected to the computer and the device. Okay, while in fast boot mode, go to your computer. Open up the Android SDK Tools folder. If you do not have Android SDK Tools installed, check out my video on how to install and use it. The video link will be in the description. You should have this installed as the requirement to even get this far as root, and anyone who's ever rooted a phone ever has SDK Tools installed. Open up the Platform Tools folder. Hold Shift and right click in the folder. Press Open Command Window. Enter command fastboot oem off dash mode dash charge zero. Double check and make sure the command is typed correctly. Press enter. This makes it so whenever power is fed through the USB cable, the Android device automatically turns on. Basically, when you turn your car on, the USB receives power and causes the phone or tablet to turn on as well. And since we made all those rules earlier with Automated, when the car shuts off, so does the phone or tablet. So pretty much your phone or tablet is synced to the car. Alright, let's reboot the phone. Enter the command fastboot reboot.
press enter. Wait for the phone to reboot. You should see the Sidejik Navigation app automatically start up since Automated is active. Remember, you don't have to use Sidejik for your offline GPS app. There are a ton of other offline navigation apps out there. I just happen to use Sidejik because I paid for the premium version already. If you want to keep cost minimum, there are free offline navigation apps like NavMe on the Google Play Store. Close Sidejik because we have to do one more important modification to the phone. Luckily, it's an easy one. We just have to remove the lock screen. As turning on the phone with the lock screen active will prevent Automated from launching the navigation app right away. Settings. Security. Screen lock. None. Okay, with no screen lock, now when the phone boots, Automated should load Sidejik navigation right away. Go back. Let's restart the phone now and put it to the test. Shut down the phone with one of the Automated rule triggers. Remove the USB cable. This simulates a car being turned off and cutting power to the USB. As you can see, the message power disconnected shutting down in 20 seconds. Also, remember, since we set a delayed execution of 20 seconds for the shutdown, at any point, if I reconnect the USB cable, it cancels the shutdown and leaves the phone on. This is useful for those moments you turn off the car only to turn it back on real quick. Okay, the phone is shut down. Now let's plug in the USB cable while the phone is off. Remember, that setting we changed on the phone, Fast Boot OEM Charge Mode 0, when we plug in the USB cable, the phone will automatically turn on. This makes it so when the car is turned on, the phone will be turned on as well. This enables you to do an internal dash install. Let the phone boot and see the GPS app start up automatically. I'll time lapse this as you probably already get the idea of what's going on. Now we're in the navigation app without laying a finger on the touchscreen. Cut the power once more by removing the USB cable and see the phone shuts down by itself. This will be time lapsed a little bit to reduce the video time. I'll do the demonstration again to show this dedicated car GPS in action. Starting the car. As the car turns on, so does the phone. You can see the phone's desktop. Feel free to add other useful apps besides the GPS, like TripAdvisor, Calculator, Dictionary, Anything you can think of that otherwise would be impossible to install on a dedicated car GPS you buy from the store. The navigation app automatically starts up. I'll shut down the car now. Automated starts the delayed shutdown execution of 20 seconds. Remember, if I turn my car on again, it will cancel the shutdown and the GPS remains on, thanks to that rule we created on Automated earlier. Okay, the phone shuts down. Everything is automatic and synced to the car. Hope you had as much fun setting up this car GPS as I did. Thanks for watching.